And, um, you know, for a long time, I get a lot of guys that are, you know, just go MGTOW monk and get a love doll. Don't ever trust women, Fisher Hunt, or uh, the thirst is real, gentlemen. Save your time and money and your headaches and just get a effing sex doll. Be free, be safe, be a MGTOW monk. It's the only way to survive this insane gynocentric world, right? So <clears throat> that sort of stuff piles in a lot. And um, normally it just kind of goes into like a junk area of the comments section. Um, they normally don't even show up. Um, so I pulled out a list of a bunch of them and I tweeted on this day, September 18th. I said, I teach men how to date women in a rational manner with boundaries, but MGTOWs will say that's pussy begging and putting women on a pedestal. Yet I can't think of a more perfect example of pedestalizing a woman than buying and banging anatomically perfect sex dolls. So <clears throat> this guy over here, uh, Greg Adams, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, he says, there's always that point in a content creator's uh, whose core audience was built on men who are MGTOW starts publicly banging up against MGTOW. It's a dumb move, and most of the content creators end up regretting it. I respond to him with, my core audience are men chasing excellence, putting themselves, not women first. And then I asked him, do you bang dolls? And where is his response to that? Because he... <laughs> kind of flew off a little bit. There it is. Um, I promise you, <laughs> you love this, eh, Ryan? Yeah. Uh, so, he, so he then responds to me, I promise you, if you insist on pushing the envelope with MGTOW, your group will shrink. Many have tried and many have failed. You can speak to some of your followers in your prick tone, but that won't work with me. So he then proceeds to put out this 90-minute bitch fest um, about me. I haven't had the opportunity to watch 